Hello and welcome to part 5 of my pivot table series. In this part 5 I'm going to show you how you can create a pivot table and using the number format. I'll also recap on how you can group field using the date functions. So for this one I will use the days. So the first thing to create the pivot table is to click on the insert tab on the ribbon. Click on the pivot table command in the tables group. The pivot table dialog box appears on screen with the correct cell range already selected. So select OK. This now produces the pivot table field list. And this is essentially where we're going to build our pivot table from. So these are our categories, which are our field names. And we will place them in the boxes below, depending on how we want our pivot table to look. So for this one, I'm going to place my mouse pointer on the customer field and drag it right down to the report filter area. I'm going to click on the category field and I'm going to drag the category field down to the row labels area. I'm also going to select the amount field and the amount field I want to drag right down to the values box. Now having a look on the left hand side of the spreadsheet you can see that Excel has already done a pretty good job of building a pivot table. So what I would like to do now is I would like to select the date. So I will click on the date field and I will select the date and drag it down just below the category in the row labels. Now because I have done this you can see that every single date with a summarization appears. So it's not much of a help really basically at this point. But what I can do is I can now group the dates into seven day dates. For example if I select cell a5. I'm going to select a cell that actually has a date because what I want to do is click on the group field command. Let me just show you if I select a different cell here. Look how the group field command is now unavailable. Let me just drag this box over a little bit out of the way. So to access the group field command you need something to group and in this case I want to group by the date. So now again you can see the group field command will appear on screen. Now what I can do is I can select, I can take off the months, deselect the months and select days instead. And I would like to categorize it in seven day periods. So down here, I'm going to click on the little up arrow in the spin box and I'm going to select seven and then select OK. And as you can see, Excel now categorizes the breakfast amounts by the groups of seven days. So from the third of the first to the 9th of the 1st, 7 days. From the 10th of the 1st to the 16th of the 1st, 7 days, and so on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the down arrow and look how beautifully Excel has everyone selected in alphabetical order. Isn't that wonderful? So now here I'm going to select Chris Travel and select OK. And so this shows me my customer, the Chris Travel customer, who's now filtered because you can see the little filter pot as well. This is basically all the breakfast he's received within these dates and so on. Now I would like to jazz this up a little and make it a little bit more presentable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the number field down here and simply right click on it. And then I'm going to say format, number format. And from the left hand side, I'm going to select the currency style and then select OK. And so you can see it applies the number format. So with the pivot table command, you can select all sorts of options, whether you're categorizing by month, by groups of days, adding on little formatting features like this. So thank you for watching part five of the pivot table series with Step by Step by Miriam. And look out for my other videos if you have enjoyed this one.